Hello, we are the B Think. I'm Andra Perez, and together with Luisa Zuvanov, we're here to introduce our startup idea. So please enjoy. Did you know that Nord Digital's experimental records account 70% of all research data loss? And this could be a big pain in the neck for scientists. The candidates for CRISPR discoveries know exactly what I'm saying. They're disputing billions for a patent and what seems to be a simple lab notebook could make the final decision. This urge for information could be solved by a mobile lab notebook. This is our idea to provide a portable and accessible solution for scientists, not forgetting a great user experience. And it seems that this electronic solution is about to have an expansion of around 10% per year of the market, as said by the future market insights. But do you have an idea why? Because people are now thinking about the importance of a lab notebook to organize the scientific practice, but also for legal purposes. And the problems do not end here. While doing some interviews, 74 in total, we found out loads of Christmas pains. For example, a PhD researcher told us how disorganized people are and how this could result in bad consequences, like losing results when we are about to defend your thesis. But the wise Glaucus Oliva, a former president of the National Council for Scientific and Technological Development, alerted how important is information written on lab notebooks to decide, for example, patents, as we saw in the CRISPR dispute. And we also heard how painful is it to try to make a lab notebook organized. You can spend all Saturday working on this. And don't forget the errors you could get while trying to transfer your data from drafts to the final lab notebook or to an electronic worksheet. After listening to all those researchers and trying to be in their shoes, we made the decision. For those who don't know, our startup first started with the idea to automate laboratory analysis as counting cells and diseases diagnosis by using image processing to reduce laboratory scores, errors of methodology and number of patients. But this idea was shown to be impracticable for clinical laboratories or a nice to have feature used it once or twice. But that's okay, because all this work wasn't in vain. We finally discovered the hair on fire of our clients, the lab notebook pain. So now, we are dealing with two types of scientists. The student, known as the nerd, who tries her best to have reliable data and ends up wasting a lot of time in this process. And also, we have the researcher. You can think of him as being the boss who is around his 50 years old, always trying to collect money for his lab, the one who is up to date of what's going on in the scientific world. He is also the one that demands a good lab notebook and results from his students. Okay, but how can we help them? First, let's understand a little of their journeys. Both of them have to plan some experiments, analyze and discuss the results obtained, and hopefully share it on papers, for example. But it's the student who has to perform the experiments and collect the data, and of course, the part that we are interested in to register all those information on a lab notebook. Our idea will result in a faster planning in an easier experimental step as no information would be lost, as protocols for example. The Bethink solution will also have some amazing features to dynamically take notes and pictures, resulting in a faster method to collect and share data. With an image processing feature for example, it can also be used for counting cells. All the information stored can be easily shared or open in many programs. Bethink will allow better discussion of the data and that could end in more papers published, prizes, research projects, patents and investments. But in the meanwhile, what are they? What are they currently using to relieve their pains? Quoting Steve Blank, we always thought of our startup ideas as the center of the universe. On this way, we got five adjacent Brazilian markets to show where our future users are. Universities, public and private R&D, pharmaceutical industry and clinical labs. Among them, the university market is, by far, the biggest. We observed that the relievers are the same for every market. These solutions can be grouped into two, a non-specific, such as Google Drive and Dropbox, and lab-specific. And guess what? The last group has just one mobile solution, and it's not being well rated by its users. 
So, where should we start? After some thinking, we decided to dock and attack the university segment. But why? What's well, simple. It is the biggest market. It has the higher projected growing rate in the use of electronic lab notebooks. And it serves all the other markets with qualified workforce. So our idea will flow naturally from universities to the entire market. Following the flow, we will get into the public R&D and later to the private R&D market. We are also going to expand our technology approach, going from a mobile lab notebook to sales counter by image processing and to the pipette tips filler automation, where we cross the software to the hardware line. Along this line, we will make the entire science practice more pleasuring and efficient, making it less time and people consuming. Taking into account the future benefits of our solution, the constant growing of electronic lab notebook market, the mobile gap, and the customers' pains that we found, we decided to keep our project. And that was it. We made a lot of progress since May when we started to work on the AWC program, and we are very excited for what is coming next. So, don't be shy. If you have any questions, suggestions, or just want to get in touch, Click on us here in the video, leave a comment or find our contact info in the description below. Thanks for watching.